Hey everyone, we are Game Devs Play Games, and I am Chris. I'm Nathan. And today we are playing our very first board game. Yep, and that game is called... Swords and Strongholds by uh, Luke Crane and David Peterson. Yep, a little joint effort. David Peterson writes the, uh, and illustrates the, uh, the Mouse uh, guard. graphic novel. Yeah. Yeah, Mouse Guard. And uh, Luke Crane is a... a game uh, designer. Badass game designer. Yeah. So, cool. This was a Kickstarter game done by Luke Crane, and I think... David Peterson probably helped with it too. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> probably. But when you work for Kickstarter, you're probably going to be the one that that runs the campaign. So that's true. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's awesome, and I it, they're shipping out their first batch of the Kickstarter stuff now. So I highly recommend getting your hands on it as soon as you can. Get your hands on it. It is so much fun. Even if you're really not a big Mouse Guard fan, it's just a, it's a really well designed game. It's yeah, very solid, very tight. Tight is a, is a good way to... There's no no point where I'm like, eh. No, it's tight. So, uh, I don't know. Watch a video. Dig in! Dig in! Don't, don't, I'm ashamed to be. Dig in. I'm ashamed to be on this game with you. <laughs> How did I get on the show? <laughs> Welcome to uh, Mouse Guards, Swords and Strongholds. And uh, we've, we have a method of deciding what player goes first. Because the rules state that the person with the dark gray mice uh, or the gray mouse I think it's black and then these are the gray oh is that they I, look very white to me it's pretty much dark gray or or light gray so we're gonna call them black and white yeah because it's just simpler so the the black mice go first um, that's that's just the rules so since that's not really random um, we have our own method <laughs> go ahead and stick your hand under there and pick one Nathan <laughs> All right. I'm white. So I'm going first. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't d dictate in the rules who sets up first. It, it assumes that both players set up at the same time, but that's kind of offers a disadvantage to the white player. So we're going to decide that the black player goes first. That way the uh, white player can actually arrange <clears throat> based on that. Which... Neither of us are experienced enough with the game right now to know what an appropriate uh, setup should look like. I mean, I don't think that the setup really um, dictates the the entire flow of the game. It certainly isn't like the first move in chess, right? So it's not a huge deal if you don't have like the perfect setup, I think. Yes. But, I mean, like you said, we're not expert players, so, you know, maybe I'm totally wrong. Who knows? <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna take this last guy and just put him right there. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Nice, I, I'm intimidated already. You should be, because white mice are better for science than black mice. Wow. Yep. Wow, that's micest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically what happens now is we all draw three cards. Mm -hmm. We get to know what they are, but the opponent does not get to know what we, what like, I, Nathan doesn't get to know what I have. Um, and there are three types of cards. So there is the, I'll just throw it up on the screen. There is the sword card. Sword card basically allows a, a mouse to m move and attack. So uh, I'm gonna kind of move this configuration a little bit. So you're here. So say uh, Nathan's mouse is right here, for example. So every, every move starts with the move action. So I'm gonna say like, okay, I'm gonna move here. I play a sword card. And I get to move in a an L shape, so I can't. I move twice, but I can't move in the same direction twice. Um, it basically it pushes Nathan's mouse. Now, okay. that's all that happens. His mouse is pushed, and that's not a big deal, other than him having to reclaim ground. Now, say for example, he was here, and I was here, and then played my sword card then I could push him off the board and capture him. He is now mine. Ah ha ha. Ow. And he doesn't get it until Nathan decides to play one of each of the three cards as his turn, and then he can reclaim one of his mice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's the sword action. Second action type is the stronghold, um, which basically allows me to move my mouse off of the grid line and onto one of these squares. And I basically form, you know, I, I'm... I, uh, you set up a stronghold. I set up a stronghold. This this whole square and all these little intersections now belong to me. So now his mice can't be here 
and my mice can't be on any of these intersections either. You pretty um, much protect that entire grid. Exactly. Now, the important thing with this, so I, if I, if Nathan's mouse was here and I built a stronghold here, I'm going to push him. I cannot kill his, or I cannot capture his mice with that. So say Nathan's mouse was here, just like last time, and I built a stronghold here, I can't push him off. I, I have to push him back. Now, say, for example, um, you know, maybe there's another stronghold here, right? And I built one here. I actually cannot build this stronghold because there's nowhere for this mouse to go. Um, You're just not allowed to take a mouse with a stronghold at all. Exactly. That is, that's the straight up rules. Um, it's a stronghold. It's not supposed to be an attack. It's just supposed to be a defense maneuver. Um, and then last but not least, there is the diplomacy card. And basically it has two functions. Either I can choose the mouse that I'm going to use. Oh, I should move these guys in the grid lines. So diplomacy allows me to either swap positions with the nearest mouse. So I would basically do this. Or if the nearest mouse is, is a stronghold, then I basically force them out in any direction that I so choose, so long as it doesn't kill them and is legal. A um, few other things that I, I thought about. Um, when you play a card after you have moved, it affects the mouse you have just moved. Yes. Uh, you cannot move one mouse and then put another one into a stronghold, nothing like that. When you use a sword card, you can push a mouse into a stronghold position to take them. Yes. It's not just the edge of the board. So basically by setting up that, that, um, that stronghold, you're essentially creating more threatening zones. Um, <clears throat> and then, yep. And that can be pushed into your own stronghold and kill you. I guess the reasoning there is they don't trust you and won't let you back into the, your own gates. Well, I uh, think the know. idea is, is that if you're forced up against a wall, it doesn't matter whose wall yeah, it is. It's, it's still a wall. It's still a wall. That's fair. <laughs> uh, and then um, the diplomacy, um, you can actually, or with a stronghold, you, as your full action, uh, without moving, you can just choose to let your own mouse out of the stronghold. You won't get to play a card, and that will be your move, but you can get them out of the stronghold by choice. Yep. And one other thing is you have to move first. You cannot play a card and then move, or you cannot just straight up play a card. You have to move. Mm -hmm. Oh, you also don't have to play a card. Correct. Um, and I think that's about, it. oh, the objective of the game. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, The objective is either to capture all of your opponent's mice or build a stronghold in one of the far two corners. On one of your opponent's corners. Yes. Um, and that's that. That's that's all I can think of for now. We'll, we'll talk about more stuff if it comes up. Cool. All right, well, I, as the mouse guard, will defend myself against uh, you as the... The, what do they call themselves? The Black Guard? The, I think that's wrong. I think it's wrong, too. I mean, it's been too long since I've read the books. Yeah, I mean, they have the Black Axe, like, the, it literally on their side, but I don't think... Well, it's because they... It was l the literal Black Axe, is what I mean. Right, yeah. right. The cheating bastards stole it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the bold move of moving this guy forward. And that's um, my turn. You're not going to play a card? <laughs> Playing cards are for suckers. You're not, you're not going to play a card? Yeah, you're a chump. I'm, I'm a chump. <laughs> All right. Um, in that case, uh, I'm going to take this mouse. I'm going to move him forward. Oh, dang. Yeah, I know. And uh, then I'm going to make you cry by probably also doing nothing your turn. <laughs> All right. Sweet. How about them apples? Oh, the all the apples. All right. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I got nothing. Well, son, you gotta do some. Okay, I'm gonna move right here, and um, I'll do this card right here, and it's a a stronghold. Oh, dang! Oh, put that right there. And it's gonna go right here. I'm gonna move your mouse oh, back in space. Oh, my mouse. Draw up, and then it's on you. Dang. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. the knight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one clad in, in the dark gray. It's true, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move this guy forward. 
So I create a nice little line here. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's also another rule we didn't specify. You always have three cards. So as soon as, after you play one, you draw one. Oh yeah, another thing we didn't specify. If you push a mouse with the sword action and it runs into another mouse, that mouse will also just get pushed in a chain yeah. reaction. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I guess that would apply to your own mice too. Oh no, it does specify in the rules. You can push your own mice with the, the sword action. Oh, that's really good to know. Is it my action? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. You, you well, I, I'll I mean, pass I moved, on playing a card. And then, and then that's good, I'm good. Bam! Oh man. Also, one of the very interesting things about this game is that it's one of the few games that I've actually seen that incorporates playing on the lines in these intersections and on the squares. I know, that is so cool. <laughs> it is. It's, it blew my mind the moment I realized that, because I knew that this game, based on the comics, I knew that you played on the lines, right? Because you see that in the comics, and you even, I, I mean, you can even kind of see that when they were designing the game. Um, and then I actually read the rules and found out that the strongholds were there, and I was like, oh my god, this game is like it's in three dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the nowhere lands. All right, uh, on my action, I'm going to move this mouse like so. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's going to happen. And then, um, let's see. I don't feel safe doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> anything at all i don't feel safe doing so i'm just gonna pass to that's, you that's totally fair maybe if i had a better hand i would play a little more aggressive <laughs> but i don't so it's on to you hmm this is an interesting conundrum yeah the first game we played we were just throwing cards out left and right oh my starting maneuver for that first one was perfect i i loved every second of it because we had our, our mice lined up right and uh my very first move is was to use diplomacy and just swap two pieces across the board. Oh yeah, it was great. Uh, actually, uh, I also had, I started off with three diplomacies in my hand, so I ended up swapping places with like a different mouse on the board <laughs> or something crazy. Like, or no, I think I reversed them back, or it was crazy. Yeah, I, I think I had two diplomacies and one stronghold, so as soon as I got to the other side, I strongholded, <laughs> and I was just like, nah, 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 nah. And then I had did. no idea what I was going to do from and after that. You're like, <laughs> I did this thing. I'm proud of it. I don't know what to do from here. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Dang, we're smooching. You are smooching. Mmm. There right. go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're just gonna start off strong. I'm gonna move here and throw down this sword. Oh no! It's gonna move here and then I'm gonna move right here. And your mouse has nowhere to go but on my side of the board. Oh, why? Because swords for days. I did. Whoa! And I'm knocked him over too, because that guy sucks. <laughs> yeah? Well, watch this. Oh, you're gonna I'm do, moving here. Do the same thing. Oh, bam! Oh, man. Where else are you gonna move? Oh, I'm gonna go like this. Alright, that's fair. I and got nothing to really say to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that prisoner. Oh. Watch him sitting there. Oh. You know what? Uh. Huh. Wow, I treat my prisoners well, thank you. I don't. You guys suck. Okay, we're gonna go right here, right? Oh and man. Then I think the play here is to throw down this diplomacy. And I'm gonna switch spaces <gasps> with you. Oh who's no! Who's right next to me. Yeah. Sure that was the right move? I'm not sure. Let's find <laughs> out what happens. <laughs> I'm not even totally sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I think I got it. Alright. Gonna go like this, right? Moving okay. back. Alright. Gonna play Watch. me a sword. Okay. And do this sh this thing. Okay. So you save yourself. However, now I'm gonna kill you. Bring it. I don't I don't really have a way of doing that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Oh I I will take you on. <laughs> So, like, this guy can't move anywhere but here now. Yeah, that's exactly it, actually. All right. Okay. 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 I'm going to move him right there. I'm going to take him out of stronghold. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to take away the threat from the board. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to watch as you stronghold now with this guy and do a bunch of shenanigans. Oh, my goodness. Let's see it happen. Oh my I'm goodness. waiting for it. Stop it. 
Stop on my goodness and just make a move. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> you change the word doesn't mean it changes. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. All watch right. watch this. I'm going to move him here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play another sword. All right. I'm going to move him up and then move over here. All right. How do you like them apples? Uh, it's like the green blind mice. It, yeah. We're I mean. all very confused as to what to do here. <laughs> Move this mouse right here, right? Oh man. And then I don't remember what I have. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little thing. I'm gonna talk to you with my sweet words. Sweet words? Hey, would you mind doing me a favor and be where I'm at? No. And I don't how did how did I how did I end up here? How did you do that? Diplomancer. Dang, your magic is strong. My magic is so strong. Yeah, well. I like your moves, but, well, actually, what do I want to do? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. Gonna move there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna become a tower. Right there. Push him here. Push this guy over here. Jerk. Yeah. Dude, bro. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's not always easy to be a tower. <laughs> I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna throw down this uh, nifty little uh, no. pointy object. I'm gonna do this. No, this is not what I wanted. And then there were two. Oh, this is not what I wanted. This is not at all what I wanted. You got a, you got a diplomacy? You, you got one? Let's this see is it. not at all what I wanted. I'm right darn screwed there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move here. I'm gonna go ahead and play a sword and capture as many mice as I can before I go down. I could use this card and win the game. Could you though? I can't, actually, you're right, because I can't move and then do it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is a pain in my, my butt there. Pew, pew, pew! Oh man. All right. All right, I see how it is. Mm -hmm. I understand. I get. I get this. Okay. Well, you gotta move. I know. I know. Fresh me. It's fresh me. It's this guy's pretty much safe. I'm gonna move right here. And it's on to you. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that you couldn't build a stronghold. I should have moved closer to you. <laughs> Let's do this. Now it's really too late for me. <laughs> really? Unless you don't have a stronghold. Unless I'm totally bluffing. I might be bluffing. You might actually be bluffing. And if that's the case, I will be a happy person. So that is a interesting uh, fact. That is that what you can't take that corner and like with the sword and then be able to stronghold next turn. Yep. It makes things tricky. I'm very surprised you haven't drawn, like, a diplomacy yet. I'm very surprised I haven't drawn a diplomacy, too. I could play this card. <laughs> Can you? But instead, I'll play this one. Damn it. <laughs> All right. And this one. Oh, geez. And before I had a sword, you, so I actually could have brought a mouse back. You want to know what I've had this entire game? Sword, Boom. sword, sword. I've literally, the only two different cards I've drawn swords were two. the whole time. It's been nothing but swords. You just, like, I capture, it, you, it told you, I drew I've, nothing but diplomacy I, the whole I time. I never saw diplomacy, not wait, once. Wait, time out. Which is totally appropriate for uh, the mouse guard I versus... Gotta, uh, I gotta make this move. <sighs> Boom. Editor Chris, would you mind show like shining a little light and making oh. some holy magic noise? That's that's it, the holy noise is going to be your voice going. Whoa. I'm fine with this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even with my voice overlapping. That's good. The, oh. I love this game. Oh. It's so simple. So, want to talk about the design of it? Let's please talk about the design of this. So, this game is is actually very intelligently designed in not only a mechanical way which we kind of touched on during the game um, but it's also intelligent in its style I mean if you look at it it's it literally is a party of four mouse guard versus a party of um, presumably four rebels 
Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, at least that seems to be the style, right? Um, optionally, it could just be generic because this game is based off of an actual board game that was shown in one of the uh, one of the graphic novels. That's true. Right? Yeah, but it, but like I find it charming because we know that mouse guard parties are predominantly populated with a party of four, party of four. sometimes mm-hmm. three, but like four is like that magic number. Yep, it's the padfoot, it's the or tinderpaw. I mean, it's the oh man, it's been too it's long. The tim, uh, the the tinderpaw, the uh, mouse guard. That's right. The uh, guard. Um, what is it? Uh, Leader. No, or no, that's that. The, before that, what's the other patrol rank? guard? A patrol guard, and, and then, then a... which patrol guard is the rank of actually both? Um, uh, what's this? What were the two? Um, Saxon, Saxon and, and... Uh, Liam, or was that no? That was no, the Liam was the small one. Um, Kenzie, Kenzie, Kenzie Saxon yeah. and Kenzie were actually both patrol guard, but they were a special case because they got to work together. Yeah. But normally, patrol guard are kind of like elite and on their own. And then finally, you have the guard captain. Yep, and it's it's just in the guard captains. Well, it's usually the guard captains that aren't in the 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 party, right? Uh, no, they it's, will. I thought it was patrol leader. Uh, is that it? Oh, patrol leader. You're right. And then and the guard, guard captain captains are the like guys the that yeah, they they're the ones that stay in Lockhaven, and they're like, this is what we need to do, matriarch. <laughs> they, they're the ones that release the bees, yes. or rather, give the command to release the bees. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like as far as style goes, I think this game is absolutely perfect. And the fact that this is something that David Peterson <laughs> <laughs> and just decided to draw in his comics and uh, approached Luke Crane and was like, "Hey, I, I have I, an idea. I have. I want to make and it was something out of this." Successfully kickstarted, right? And that's actually how you got got this. So yep, I, awesome. I I backed this one. That's and, awesome. Uh, I'm jealous. I uh, I didn't see it in time. I told you. This. I, it was like the day before. Um, <laughs> the moment I saw this, though, I had to throw my money at it because, I mean, I, I'm already collecting the mouse card comics, so. Yeah. Uh, so the thing that I really, really like the the most about this game is I feel it perhaps has the best random uh, element I've ever seen. And the reason I say this is because you have... Uh, what, 60 cards in the deck, I believe? Something like that. Um, you have yes, so. an equal amount of every type of card. There's only three types of cards. There's nothing else. And you draw them, and then you have the three cards at your disposal, and every time you use them, you redraw. Even if you use one of each to bring back a mouse, you draw back up to three. Mm-hmm. The reason I think as the best random element in a game is because, yes, sure, it had a random element. And in that game, you lost because of that random element when I happen to have it, but in a lot of other times, it's just a matter of how you use the cards that you're given. And because you're constantly drawing them, and because there is an equal opportunity to get any of them, unless a card is used more than others, um, because there's an equal opportunity, it, it yes, it's a random variable, but it is a pretty, pretty small, like, small changes in the variable. It's nothing big and out there. It's not like even rolling a, a, a D4. It's like it would still be it's yeah. still smaller than that. I mean, it, it, especially too, if as you're playing the game, the, the beginning of the game is literally the most random it's going to get. Um, after that, as cards are getting played, until you reshuffle the deck, you can actually say, well, I've been, I've already played, like, seven swords. He probably doesn't have any if, and if he does, he only has, like, one. Absolutely. Um, so the game becomes predictable in that manner if you're actually paying attention to the cards getting played. Um, so that's, I mean, maybe that's not, you know, something that a lot of people are attuned to, but... Yeah, it's... The reason it's important to have that random element is because otherwise this would just be a game of checkers or chess or anything like that, and that's totally fine, but if you're going to play those, play those. Um, but this game offers something else, and it's, it reminds me very much of the Duke, except for the random element is even more contained, mm-hmm. and the effort offers just enough of a variable to where strategy is still extremely important. Oh, without a doubt. I think I think the random element too, while it's not an equalizer, it makes the game more accessible to those that aren't the most strategic or tactical people to begin with. Um, 
And it, it honestly is just fun. I mean, one of the strongest principles of game design is the element of surprise. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so while it could be, you know, you being surprised by the card you drew or your op- the card that your opponent played when you least expected it, you know, um, and even, you know, I even had my surprise when Nathan landed here and was like, I'm going to not play Stronghold because I no, have I to move first. And had I, that's, I, that was awesome. It sucked that I didn't anticipate that because I would have killed him, but. I, true. <laughs> well, you were, you were, I, I looked at it, it was like, you're one spit, you're one space well, too far to kill me. Here's what I would have done. Cause I was about, I think like right here. Yeah. And I would have done, I would have moved played a sword, or probably moved, played a sword, you would have been like, oh man, and then I would have been like, bam, bam. You would have been like that? I had a sword in my hand. I would have gone boom, boom, and then delayed me another turn. Uh, I guess that's fair. And then you would have had your mouth stuck in the stronghold going, no! (laughs) (laughs) All my friends are dead! (laughs) Um, No, no, I mean, no, that's actually very true. I I didn't realize that I couldn't win in that, and I was like, oh, no. Because, I mean, if you had a diplomacy, it would have just evened the game out again. Well, Mm -hmm. you would have been a mouse down, but at least it would have evened in that I wouldn't have won that round. Yeah, and in terms of strategy, too, it's very interesting how the center of the board, especially these intersections here, become the absolute most important. If you are one of those players that kind of skirts around the sidelines, it actually is really easy for you to get captured. Yeah, the closer you get to that objective point, the more dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. Because if you're there, you could die. If you're there, you could die. If you're here, well, you couldn't die, but... In fact, actually, that may be the safest spot. But even if your opponent is here and, like, swords you one space over, no, that would be a bad idea. All right. So basically what I'm getting (laughs) at is there there are ways where even if you got pushed, like, here, you would still be able to stronghold. Never mind. That's a really safe position to be in. Yeah. That's all I got. I'm thinking my next opening strategy will be something more aligned with uh, sticking to the center. Like so. Yeah, I was actually wondering that myself. Having just like a, having a like proper a patrol huddled up like that and just plowing you through. If there was a second, like if there was, if, if I saw the first player do that, maybe my strategy would literally be this. Oh man, or maybe right? doing this and like keeping a goalie in the back. <laughs> you do this, like be like, yeah, well, if you're going to set up that way, I'm going to counter this way. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll get you. I'm like, I'm going to get you one way or another. I do think it's really important, though, to have that differentiation in the beginning of who sets up first, because that does really change the strategy. It's It would Absolutely. almost be silly setting up at the same time if both players are going to be like, well, I'm going to move this piece here, or I'm going to set up this guy here, and then the other player being like, well, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to be like, oh, well, then I'm going to move this. It just... it. It becomes an argument at it that It does. Time. It's like, yeah, it's uh, the only other way to really handle it is to, like, draw it out ahead of time and be like, and go. Yeah, push and, and it's not like this is one of those games where you're like, okay, now I'm going to set up at this set. Hey. Like, <laughs> I guess you could do that. No, those, I've seen games that have tried that. It, it's uh, it's that's awkward. Terrible. That sucks. Well, uh, that's about all I got. Um, this is a really fun, nice, simple game. It's beautifully crafted, and it's so simple. And I'm I'm so happy we chose this to be our first board game that we've played on the show. Yeah, this game makes me happy every time I see it. It just like even if I were just like, like mm, I'm gonna hold this mouse. Oh, absolutely! Everybody that's seen this game so far just like picks up these mice and they're like, oh my gosh, they're so adorable. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Well, well, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the archives. See you in the archives. And if you want to watch more, let us know. We'll play more for you. Let us play more for you. <laughs>